to week 12 of our series, God, Know Him, Love Him, Show Him. This week we talked about Elroy, the God who sees. We find this in Genesis chapter 16, um, starting in verse 7, and it says, The angel of the Lord found Hagar near a spring in the desert. It was the spring that is beside the road to shore. What I love about this is it's the very beginning. It says, The angel of the Lord found Hagar. Now, when we think about finding things, most often it's because we're seeking something. So we find things because we look for them. So what this is saying is that God, through the angel of the Lord, so throughout scripture, the angel of the Lord has been said to be God's personal messenger. Um, And sometimes the actual voice of God is how people have taken that. And so the angel of the Lord found Hagar. That's incredible. Hagar, this pregnant woman, a slave girl. She's in the desert. She's alone. She feels unloved, unwanted, uh, broken, battered, you know, all of these things. She's feeling so much. She's not even crying out to God in the desert. She's just in the desert trying to flee this unfair situation. But the angel of the Lord found her. He sought after her. He saw exactly where she was at, all of the things that she's been feeling. Um, and, and met her in that, in that place, in that time of need when she finally stopped. Uh, that is just, it's incredible to me. That just, it speaks to me and just makes me feel as though, you know, there's lots of moments in life where we feel as though we've really reached the bottom of a barrel. There's no way out, there's no hope in sight, there's no light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. But even in those moments, it is 100% possible to, for God to find us where we're at. And just to follow up with that in verse 8, he goes on to say to her, so he finds her in the desert and she's stopped running long enough to have this encounter with God. And he says, he calls her by name and he says, Hagar, slave of Sarah, where have you come from and where are you going? And this verse really spoke to me this week because he asks her these two very specific questions. Where have you been and where are you going? And I feel like there's so many of us that get to a point in our life, a lot of us have been running from God and when we finally encounter him, he will ask us these same two questions. Where have you been and where are you going? Now God doesn't ask us these questions because he doesn't know the answer, he's God. So he already knows everything about us, but he asks us because he really wants us to speak it out loud and to acknowledge our past and our pain and our brokenness because that's where he wants to meet us. And so many times we're so busy running away from it and trying to make everything okay on our own and in our own strength. And what we really need is to come to this place like Hagar in our pain, in our brokenness, and just have this experience with God. Because once we do, we will never be the same again. And I feel like Hagar's response would have been, I am coming from the worst place Mm -hmm. and the worst situation I've ever lived in, and I have no idea where I'm going. And in that moment, God speaks to her and says, I acknowledge your pain. I acknowledge your past. I still find you valuable. I find you worthy because I created you and I see you. I'm the God that sees you. Mm -hmm. And then as far as the second question, where you're going, he then tells her, I'm going to send you back. I'm going to send you back but I'm going to ask you to do the hard thing, but I'm not gonna send you back alone. This time I'm gonna go with you and I'm gonna always be with you. And he gives her this promise. And so she can go back into the situation with confidence, knowing that she's no longer walking alone, knowing that she's been forgiven and her life is new. And we know through the rest of the chapter that God fulfills his promise as he always does. And she, she has Ishmael and she, a woman of all people, is the foundation for another huge nation. And so it's just incredible, these promises, as we had the pleasure of just studying and really digging into the scripture, I know it spoke to me so incredibly much this week, and we hope it spoke to each one of you. And just a challenge from us to really look at where you are at your life at at this point and to take these two questions to heart and really kind of meditate on them. Where have I been and where am I going? This isn't like a one-time situation mm-hmm. where when we come to that that choice of salvation or not, we, we answer these questions, but I feel like it's something that we, we need to answer throughout our life. Like, where have I been and where am I going spiritually in my walk with God? You know, am I, am I where I want to be? And has God been trying to speak to me and I'm not responding and I need to stop for a minute and have an encounter with God? and maybe change my path, maybe change my direction. So just something for you to pray about and think about and really meditate on these questions. We hope that you got as much out of this week as we did, and it's just been really a joy to share with you. So if we could just uh, close in prayer, that would be great. Let's pray together. 
Father God, we just thank you for the power of your word. I thank you that you speak to each one of us so personally and so individually through the stories and the people that you um, have taught us in the Bible. And God, we just thank you that you are a God that can't go by one name. As we learned through this series, you have so many names and so many characteristics, and, and there's so many more that we'll never even understand until we're with you. And um, But this specific one, the God who sees me, I just thank you for being the God who sees me, for being the God who sees each one of us. I thank you that you are willing to look at us in all of our mess and all of our brokenness and all of our pain, and that you want to have an, a personal encounter with each one of us. And so God, I pray that this week after we study this part of scripture and that we learn about it and we focus on it, we meditate on it, God, that we would each have the opportunity to take the time to intentionally seek to have an encounter with you, God, to answer these questions of where am I going and, and where have I been and how does God want to work in my life? I just pray that you would continue to work through all of the, the series that we've been through in each name of God, that we would just, our life would not be the same after learning, that we wouldn't just be taking in information, but that it would be life-changing and life-transforming for us, God. I just pray for the weeks ahead and all that you have to teach us. Help us to continue to be humble, willing, and just to be ready to learn um, whatever it is you have for us. We just thank you and praise you for who you are and all that you are to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.